just had it, man. She put Papa Duck, man. You already know what time it is with it. I'm just cooling, man. Had to go get right. Y'all see it. Because tomorrow is my birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all been rocking with me, man. Scorpio season. Y'all already know what it is, man. To all the ones who got real love for me, man. I love y'all bite. And I'm just, you know what I'm talking about? You know, I'm just going to drop this on you. You know what I mean? And this is a lot of shit I be want to say. I'm gonna be honest, you know. I be telling folks, man, we in the we in a world of full of distractions. All this shit is distractions. You gotta understand, man. From sports to entertainment, all that shit that be distractions, man. Don't get caught up in them distractions, man. And don't get caught up in them folk. Y'all think vampires just run around sucking people's blood? No, they suck your energy. I hang around them low vibra low vibrational ass people, man. And that could be you. It could be your sister. It could be your brother, your uncle. Your, it could be whoever, man. Some people just, they just got that low ass vibration. You're from around it, bro. You ain't gonna help you out. No kind of way at all. You know what I'm saying? Get from around it, bro. And I was reading a comment to my left when I did a video earlier on the day when I was talking about Man, we got to go to war, man. That's the only way this shit going to stop. And like sometimes, man, and like I said, I don't, you don't have to agree with everything I say, but you at least got to understand, like, it's just common sense that that's what it's going to take. That's the whole purpose of wars anyway. When two people don't agree and one one group of people trying to take over other group of people, you either going to stand down or go at it. That's it. It's just like you, you with somebody in the hood. Either you gonna stand down or y'all gonna go at it. B, we gotta go at it. Cause B, they ain't finna get, they think they finna hand over their power. You think they finna hand over the power that they have, that they've been working so hard for all this time, lying to us. Lying to us about everything imaginable. You think they gonna just hand it over to us? Shit, you crazy. Nah, man, we gotta go take that back, man. Keep telling y'all, they don't care about your money. They care about how many y'all on one accordion. How many of y'all on the one accordion? Huh? If you look at all the black leaders or just people in general, when they start cultivating the minds of people, changing the way they, that's when they want to come with all this. Oh, look at Dr. J. Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster J. I'm sorry. Why he in jail? Huh? Ain't because he got millions and billions of dollars. Man, when you cultivate the minds of the masses, that is what I keep trying to tell y'all. That's what they scared of. Let's break this shit down. Music. Most of these rappers don't even know what MC means. What is an MC? Huh? You tell me, what is an MC? MC is a master of ceremonies. What hell? What? What do you hold at a ceremony? This is where rituals of rituals are performed. Like, come on, bro. Music is witchcraft. Influence. The devil was a musician. Why? Because you can, excuse me, you can cap, you can captivate the minds of millions of people through music. You know how many motherfuckers in prison right now listen to some of this music? You know how many motherfuckers that's dead and gone listening to some of this music? This is just one of the reasons why I chose to change up the way I do music. I just don't do that type of music no more. I didn't know. Once I saw it for what it was, I had to switch up. I'd be flawed if I didn't. I'm not going to take my old music down, like I say, because that was that's a part of me. Music is ritual. When you chanting, what you think chants are? Anybody ever been in the studio? I'm talking about real producers, real writers. I'm not talking about a motherfucker that just say anything on the mic. They know what a chant is. Tear the club up. Tear the club up. That's a chant. You're chanting. You're summoning. See, a lot of people don't get it. It's frequency. When you go to church and they want to pull that money out your pocket, or they want to get you in your feelings. What they go to? They go to playing these different. That's why you got different sets of drums. You got 808s. You got house drums. 
You get what I'm saying? You got all different types of drums with different types of emotions, different types of frequencies. Think about it. When you go to the club, they tell they 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 I listen. They got songs in the club that will send you to prison for the rest of your life. They got songs that'll send you to that'll get you killed when you walk out that building. Then they got songs that'll make you go against men. Men ain't shit. You don't pay my bills. Then you got songs that go against women. All these thoughts over here. You got different songs for different things, different frequencies. Then you got songs that get in your head and make you cry. I wrote a song about John John. This song was so thorough. We recorded when, when that song first dropped and we performed it. I've seen over nine people faint from different shows that I've done. One of the hardest songs for me to perform. Guess what? I stopped performing it because I couldn't make it through the song. Because it pulled that much emotions out of me. I've had people come to me crying. That song so deep, it's called, I wrote it by John John. I'm talking about, man, if I hear it to this day, man, I just go to leaking, dog. But this is what music does. And I'm just showing you how things that can be put out there in a positive way can also be put out in a negative way. It can be weaponized. They weaponize music. Why you think they gave the whole music game to the Jits? Them lad motherfuckers, you could tell something. How you gonna tell a Jit 16, 17, 18 year old with over a quarter million dollars what to do? But anyway, I don't want to get too off topic, but music is ritual. I be telling people that. Uh, medicine is ritual. Pharmacy. Pharmacy derives from the word pharmacia. If you look at Rite Aid, it was spelled R-I-T-E, short for ritual. If you look at Walgreens, you look at the um the um if you look at the uh the symbol for Walgreens, it's a mallet. Where you crush where you crush up in a bowl, where you crush up herbs. All this shit come from witchcraft type shit. Look it up for yourself. You'll see for yourself. Anything that can take you out your 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 anything that 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 moves you out of your your um out of your state of mind into another state of mind. Like, it, it, why you think they call alcohol spirits? <laughs> this shit be right out of being favorite, but it don't be paying no attention. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do, a, cause it getting dark. I'm gonna do a video on all this, like just a separate video. But some of the stuff I just called out, man, y'all go look it up. Go look up pharmacia. That's where they get the word pharmacy from. You know, write a spell R I T E it comes from the word ritual. Go see what an MC is. What master of ceremonies? What is a ceremony? This is this is where rituals are performed. Marriage is a ceremony, you know, and I'm not saying all ceremonies are bad, but if you look at the origin of it, then you start putting things together. Hey, man, I'm just trying to open y'all mind. But again, dog, man, I'm finna, um, don't forget my birthday tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, for all the Scorpios, man, you know, shout out to y'all. If your birthday today, tomorrow, or anytime this week, happy birthday. Which our, our birthdays are every day, if you know what I mean. But, you know. But anyway, man. You know, I love y'all. It's getting dark. But I'm going to do a video on all of them separately. So that y'all can get a better understanding on what I'm saying. Okay? So with that being said, man. You know, I love y'all, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video, man. Peace.